everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the beach point cowl. Now this cowl was designed to complement the beach point beanie, which you can also find here on my channel and on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. This is an easy infinity cowl to work, meaning you can twist it and fold it over if you would like or wear it long. It features a beautiful shell stitch pattern. It measures approximately 6 inches wide by 26 inches laid flat, so it has a circumference of about 52 inches around. Today, for the tutorial, I am using a 5 millimeter or an H8 crochet hook, as well as about 400 yards, so two skeins of the Selkirk worsted yarn by a local shop called Fleece and Harmony. It is a 100% wool and I'll provide direct links to both of these items down in the description of this video. You're going to need about 400 yards to complete this cowl. You'll also need a copy of the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. Again the du direct link is in the description of this video. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, take a look around, check out the free matching beanie pattern and uh, the many other crochet patterns that are here as well. The beach point cowl pattern today is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. For the size mentioned earlier, you're going to need a chain of 216 chains. If you would like to change the size of your cowl, you will need a foundation chain with a multiple of 6 chains. Today, I am going to only work a small portion of the cowl just to sort of get you on the right track, so I am going to adjust the stitch count today. So once you've worked 216 chains to or a multiple of 6, today I've actually only worked 54 chains. Without twisting your chain, you are going to then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Again, our design is worked in rounds. So for round 1, we're going to chain 1. Work a half double crochet into the same chain as joining and then half double crochet into each chain all the way around. When you come to your first chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round two, you're going to chain one, and this is for rounds two and three, actually. We're going to work in the third loop all the way around, working half double crochet stitches. So when you're looking at your work, you have your front loop, which is the loop at the top of the stitch that's closest to you. You have your back loop, which is the loop that's furthest away from you at the top of your stitch. If you pull your stitch forward and look at the back of your half double crochet, you see a loop that runs just under your back loop. This loop here is called your third loop, so we're going to work in that stitch only. So yarn over, insert your hook under that third loop only of the first stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through three. You're going to work a half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, chain one and repeat. So you want to work two rounds of half double crochet stitches in the third loop only and then meet me back here at the end of round three. At the end of round three, 
you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round four, we're going to chain one and work a single crochet into the first stitch, the same stitch as joining. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and work five double crochet stitches into the next. Skip the next two stitches and work a single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two stitches, work five double crochets into your next stitch. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round four, you'll skip your final two stitches, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round five, we're going to chain three and this counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into the first stitch at the base of that chain three. Next, skip the next two stitches and single crochet into your next. Skip the next two stitches and work five double crochet stitches into your next stitch. Your next stitch should be that single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat, skip the next two stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, skip the next two stitches, and work five double crochets into the next. You're going to continue that all the way around ending with a single crochet stitch when you come to your first uh, chain three. At the end of round five, you're going to come to your single crochet. You'll skip the next two stitches and you've come to your starting chain three into this first stitch, into the single crochet, you're going to work two final double crochet stitches. So that along with your chain three and your next two double crochet will give you your shell of five. So you're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Then for the rest of the body of the pattern, you're for rounds six through to 13, you're going to repeat rounds four and five, a total of four more times. That will bring you through to the end of round 13. And then you just have a few more rounds to work and I'm going to show you those now. So at the end of round 13, after you've repeated row, rounds four and five, four more times, for round 14, you're going to chain one and simply work a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So you're working your half double crochet into each double crochet and each single crochet all the way around, then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 14, going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. Then finally to finish off your cowl just as you did earlier on, you're going to chain one for rounds 15 and 16 working in that third loop. You're going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch 
chain one and repeat for round 16. At the end of round 16, you can fasten off and weave in your ends and your beach point cowl is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again soon for another great free crochet pattern. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.